there is an essential diagram that you have to be able to draw and that's the upper and lower lids in cross section. If you kick off with the tarsal plate then draw in the conjunctiva and the conjunctival fornix then give yourself the bone take the septum to the bone put some orbicularis in front some skin over the top and a lash then connect the lower lid retractors closely adherent to the conjunctiva and some orbital fat behind the septum. It's worth going through the sequence again so kick off with your tarsal plate put the tarsal plate in first. The conjunctiva is then on the inner surface going into the conjunctival fornix and up to the cornea. Put in your bone and use the septum to anchor the tarsus to the bone. Anterior is the pretarsal and preceptal orbicularis with skin overlying. The lower lid retractors are closely adherent to the conjunctiva and behind the septum is orbital fat. So if you're going to label it up in sequence, the tarsal plate, the conjunctiva, the bone, the septum, the orbicularis anterior to the septum, with the skin anterior to the orbicularis, then the lower lid retractors closely adherent to the conjunctiva, and last but not least the orbital fat.